Hello, it me, Wild Rosen will just appear, and tonight, it's Salvation Project, a game where I saw what looked like an evil Kermit the Frog. That's the whole reason that I picked this up. I was like, huh, the heck is that? Evil Sesame Street? And it wasn't Sesame Street, so I look, just looked like an idiot. And nobody had to know about Ladies that except I gentlemen. told you. Oh, hi. Welcome. There he is. Apparently his name is Seth, not Kermit, but... Still not easy being green, I guess. My name is Seth, and today's public service announcement is dedicated to your fears. Okay. This program is brought to you by the Salvation Project. Thanks, Salvation Project. And what fear are we going to be discussing today? I don't want to know, really. Spiders, nuclear war, or Satanism? Alright, I'll say that all of these suck. But there's not one that I'm like, you know... You know, nu nuclear war is probably the That's one I... That's right! Satanism! Okay. Satanism is a great danger to our citizens. And we all should be on our toes. Right. It's a danger to our souls, to our world, and our way of living. Okay. And this danger strikes where it hurts most. Our children. Usually accurate. To make sure your kids are safe, you should locate the satanic objects in your household before it's too late. I didn't know about the that, but... The satanic object includes satanic audio tapes, satanic posters, or satanic books. Beware, these can be hidden in plain sight. And on that, we wish your family luck in searching and destroying the threats inside your home. Be careful, because if you don't care, they will. This has been a broadcast from the Salvation Project. Thanks, Until Kermit! Until next time, Seth out! Bye, Seth! Oh, man. I wasn't scared of Satanism, and now I am. Oh! I think this TV is a cursed object. It's just sitting on carrot. <laughs> okay. This does raise a concern. I think I saw something that could be satanic in my son's room upstairs. I have to investigate immediately. Is that my hand? Oh man, I have a beautiful Karen hand. Ellipsis. Okay. All right, I, I, is there a mirror in which I can see my haircut? Because I bet it's fantastic. I bet it's truly outstanding. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense to have if this is a Satan game. All right, you should... Karen! That is disgusting. Karen. Karen, clean your goddamn oven. Woman. Oh, hi. Kind of a cool light. Kind of... Kinda dig it. I dig it. Karen, clean your oven, but you know... Karen, unpack your boxes! Hey! I thought Karens were neat freaks! I don't really need to go to the bathroom. Man, eh, you know what? I'm just being thorough. I know where the stairs are, it's just... What's in here? Oh, the garage. Yeah, that... that adds up. What kind of car you got, Karen? Actually, it looks pretty sick. Just from what, you know, little bit I can say. Why do you need... So many of those. Is the hubby a tinkerer? Maybe you should get him to tinker on the oven and fix it! Well, not fix it, clean it. I'm afraid to go outside. What if there are demons there? Okay. Well, you know, what is it? Agoraphobia? That's a thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shame you. It is what it is. Let's go upstairs into our son's room and steal his cursed objects. Probably his porn magazines. Son! Oh, wait, what the hell room is this? This is a rule book for a board game, Dungeons and Demons. If this isn't an indoctrination book, I don't know what is. Now there are two more satanic objects to find. I don't think that was a satanic object. That just looks like a picture of you. Is the comforter a satanic object? No, okay. Alright, so I stole his Dungeons and Dargons book. Is this what? What the hell? This is a Mentalica audio tape. 
Sure does look satanic. It is definitely dangerous. Now there are one more satanic objects to find. Okay, I'm doing this for you, Seth the Frog. Doing this for you. My son's gonna be pissed. Oh, is it that? The Metallica poster? This is a Metallica poster! What a terrifying poster. I better take it down. I think that's all of them. Yeah, I should burn it in the furnace in the garage. There was a furnace in there? I should take his computer too while I'm at it. Yeah, then I'll really be pissed. Then I'll really turn to Satanism. I mean, God. Let's go burn it in the garage. Which I know where is because I already go there. Those lights are so cool. Hello, furnace. Assist me in my quest. I'm a... Oh, why the fuck do you have that? What? What? Okay. Poor Metallica. Poor dungeons and demons. Burn! 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 There's no place for Satan in my home! Now that the job is done, I can finally rest near the TV again. Another day done right. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I... Alright. I remember I had, when I was a kid, I had a Green Day album, and my... My dad did something similar. They didn't burn it, he just took it and he, like, beat it with a hammer. Because it had American Idiot, the song, on there. And he was like, nah. Nah, you can't do this. And I said, oh, okay. Oh, right, the TV. Let's watch Seth the Frog again. Ellipsis. Oh, well, I guess not. Let's watch Couch again. In today's news, there was an event of greatest importance today. Jonathan Wozus gave us his inaugural speech in which he... Oh, God, he didn't say anything. He fucked it up. No, Wozus. Oh, hi. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I feel very welcome now. Thank you, Seth. My name is Seth. And today's public service announcement is dedicated to energy consumption. Okay. This program is brought to you by the Salvation Project. Thank you, Salvation Project. So, as we previously stated, energy consumption is an extremely important issue. Right. However, sometimes we have to ignore it to protect ourselves from the evils of the world. Oh, okay. As you all know, Satanism has started to rapidly grow in our communities. I got that impression. Since our last program, many of our viewers relate to us their successes of protecting their house from the devil's propaganda. Like me! But that is not enough. Oh. As Jeremiah 29:11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil. And not to for give evil. You a future and a hope. Hope! The devil comes at the devil's hour. But using science, our specialists discovered that the correct time of the Devil's Hour is 8 p.m. What? The Devil fears the light. Even the smallest darkness can bring the Devil. So we shall shine the light on it and bring safety to our homes. We implore you, turn on every light in your home until 8 p.m. and make your house safer. The devil shall not pass. You shall not Be pass. Careful, because if you don't care, they will. Okay, Seth. This was a Salvation Project program. Until the next time, Seth out. Bye, buddy. All right. They shall not pass. Man. Since when is the devil's hour 8 p.m.? The sun could still be out at that. Oh no! It's almost 8 p.m. I should do something before it's too late. Go get him, Karen! I have to turn on all the lights of the place where we sleep so the devil does not invade us when we are not awake. But the corridors are equally important, so I should probably light them too. Just turn on all your lights. Yeah, Karen, let's go! Let's go, baby. Get all damn lights on. I gotta find the light switches. What the feck is that? What are... Was that just an old phone? Okay, that makes sense. Why was this light not on? Why wasn't that already on? Wait, what the hell? You were just, uh, I assumed the lights were on. Like, I, I, you know, it's a lot nicer when it's lit. Oh, there we go. I don't need to go there. Okay, no bathroom. Oh, no, this is the bathroom. Okay. I, I guess I can let him invade our toilet. But, um, if, Karen, I, I hate to tell you, but if Japanese horror games have taught me anything, Toilet ghosts are really an issue. There are a lot of them. So I, I, I disagree. I still disagree. No, I disagree. 
I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. Okay, fine. You know what? Whatever. If you want the toilet ghost to invade your world, I can't stop you. I can't stop you. But something tells me you don't have either an ancient red vase or a convenient- I disagree! You don't have a, a, an ancient red vase or a conveniently located shrine in your house. So, you know, I think you're screwed. I think you're screwed, Karen. That's okay, though. Is this- Where the, the hell room is this? My room, I assume. Why don't I unpack my boxes? Hi, more picture. Okay, I'll take that. Um, wait, did it tell me I don't need to go to my son's room? Karen, I think you should light your son's room. I think that's... Am I mistaken? I am. Okay, good. I was like, are you not... Is your son, like, do you give up on him? Oh, no. Oh, no. Overload. Shit, I turned on five lights. Six light. Six lights. Damn it. It's my son's computer. He's downloading too much porn. It's overloading the power grid. Also, the power... The power shutting off doesn't flip your switches. Just saying. I should go restart it in the... It's too late. It's too late. It was already too close to eight. I told you you should have turned on the, the lights in the bathroom. It's be- oh, right, this way. It's because there was a- What the absolute fuck were you? Satan got swole. Somebody called Doom Guy. Dang. Did you see that guy? He was jacked. That was the most roided dude I've ever seen in my life, and I've seen a lot of roided dude in my days. Alright, well, I don't know where I'm going. Boop, light, nope. Alright, break, oh, oh, of course. I think I almost died! It was so dark and something was definitely in here. Good thing I managed to bring light back in my house. I should go and rest. I don't... Karen, we, there's one more thing we have to do. There's another thing we have to do. I disagree. Alright, fine. Whatever you say, Karen. Hello, Kermit the Frog here. Well, hello there, missus. How are you? I believe you found yourself in a bit of a situation. Okay. What? Why are you here? How did you get inside? Why? Mrs. This is an emergency. And a big one, I might say. I didn't see a big, a big emergency. I came here to help you get rid of the demons in your home. I see you've been watching my programs and following them. Yeah, Seth. Even if you're afraid of the nuclear war, <laughs> it's not imminent <laughs> and does not rely on your participation. All right. You're However, right. However, this problem does. Satan is very much real, and is nearing your home. Perhaps you noticed the signs already. I noticed a, a right up dude stalking my halls, the man. The lights, your son's behavior, and however more that you don't notice. I and noticed. I am here to help you with the protection of your home. Thank you, Seth the Frog. Oh, okay, but why me? Isn't everyone in danger? Why help me in particular? Silly. I am helping everyone. Oh, thank you, Seth the God. I've already helped countless people, and you are just another lucky child of God. Who thank gets the you. special treatment. But hush now. It was hard for your nerves today already. It was. Go to sleep now. I will guard it with my life. After you wake up, there is okay. much to be done. You will guard my sleep with your life. Thank you, Seth the Frog. That's a good guy, that Seth the Frog. Hi! How are you? Welcome, everyone! Thank you! My name is Seth. It and is! today's public service announcement is dedicated to... The Signs of Satan in your house! You sound way too excited. This program is brought to you by The Salvation Project. Thank you, The Salvation Project. As you should know, the devil is coming! And we should all be protecting ourselves and our loved ones from the devil. 
Protect from devil. Check your windows! Check your windows! Board them up! Board them up! Okay. Satan shall not pass! <laughs> Satan shall not pass! Make sure they are not inverted! Yes! Check your mirrors, cover them up! I will check them! Satan shall not pass! Satan, Satan shall not pass! Satan shall not pass! Satan shall not pass! Be careful! Okay! Because if you don't care, I they care! Will. They won't! This was a Salvation Project program. Until next time, set out! Yes, set! Check your windows, poor demo- Oh, hi. Wow. Jesus. Hi. Um... What a charmer, huh? Sure is an energetic fella. Sure is. But he is right. You should get on your feet and start covering them windows. Okay, wasn't that you? Maybe check your garage for instruments and materials. Instruments? You're about to have something. I also remember you having a cross in here nearby. I did. It's right behind me. Mirror. So I don't remember that. I'm oh, sorry. For? I skipped a little bit. Go, go, go. Okay, I go. I go. I go. There's a cross there. It's inverted. Probably. <gasps> Who did that? Oh, my God. It was Turned. I will. Yes. Good. Thank balls. I need to find one more rotated cross. Oh, no. I am too stupid to remember where that... Karen, come on. I disagree. Okay. It's fine, though. That's fine, though. I need to check the garage. I have chairs. I have old chairs. I can smash the shite out of them. I have tools. A hammer should do just fine. The nails are the size I need to. Perfect. Find the planks. They're around here somewhere. Okay, sure. You know what? It's, it's actually not outside the realm of belief to say that she has planks in her garage. Well, I don't see planks. Oh, they're literally right. Okay. Because I know that there were many a time that my family just had planks laying in the garage for, like, projects and shite that never got done. Just had them. Just went to Home Depot one day and bought them and, like, just left them in the garage for... Usually months. Usually... Satan, no! Just stop the toilet, ghost. I disagree. I did... I Karen. Karen. Well, it's a good thing I don't go in that door ever. Let's go board up the windows in here. Board them up, board them up, board them up, board them up, board them up. Oh, yes. Six more windows to go board them up. Board them up, 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 board them up. Four more. Four more. Hello, Seth the Frog. Maybe I love check you. your garage for instruments and materials. You're bound to have something. You're right, I, I did. I also remember you having a cross in here nearby. As well as a mirror in your room. You're right. So what are you waiting for? Go, go, go! You're right. I don't. You're right. That's where the demon went. I was testing you. I was testing your faith. It proved strong. Can I turn the light on? Oh, I can. Cool. It's a little better now. All right. I need to go into d this, d this one. This is the demi... This is the demi... D oh, shit. What room is this? What the hell's fire? I couldn't go in here before. <gasps> no wonder I didn't know where you was. There you are. Okay. Board up to window. Three more to go. It's already. Yes, it is. That is true facts. One more to go. It's. Wait, three more to go. I need my room. I need my baby boy's room. I disagree. Wait, hang on. What the fuck? Oh, okay, good. I was about to say, I don't think there's anything. Wait! I'm supposed to do something to mirrors. Why would I not go to the bathrooms? That is exactly where you go for mirrors. Uh, there we go. Sun! Satanic sun! I'm boarding up your windows, and you can't stop me. That's right. I have evolved. With Seth the Frag's help, I have achieved my final form. I have become Mega Karen. And I will board all the windows. Uh-oh. It's Derek. No darkness in Seth's, or in, uh, well, in, yeah, Seth's home. Hi! I need to cover this. Is that a thing? I guess that's a thing. I don't know. Board the window. That's it for windows. Yes! I think. I should. I should go see... S what was that thing? I don't know. What was that thing? What thing? 
I heard a knock. You mean that? It's not here. Did I not hear a knock? Did I hear something else? I thought I heard a knock. Set the frog. Not easy being green, man, but I need your help. Oh, hi, Satan. Oh my God. Satan, big. But I'm okay. Oh, I didn't turn on all the lights. Let me go. Uh, yes, I do. There are mirrors in bathrooms. I disagree. All right. All right. I see you have completed your mission. Yeah, but Satan was in here. And most importantly, you are still alive. Accurate. I was attacked twice. How can you be twice? I am not insensitive. I'm just doing my job. And my job is to keep you safe. Yes, sir. Uh, Mrs., you should not anger the one who gives you salvation. You look tired. You should go to sleep. I just woke up. Go to sleep. Are you Jeff the Killer? I thought you were Seth the Frog. Okay, Seth the Frog. I'm sorry. I Apo apologize. Hey there, missus! Uh, oh god, hi. I see you're back again for the Daily Wisdom! You are under attack! I know! Your life is under attack! I know! Your soul is under attack! I know! We have to go for the nuclear option! You have to call for help! Luckily, our manager knows the correct ritual to summon a guardian angel for your home! Oh. Do it! Now! All right. Do it! Now! All right. What the fuck? This is weird. Good God. Oh no. Focus now. I'm focused. Get the chalk and candles from storage. Okay. Lighter from the kitchen and don't forget the lighter. Okay. The storage room is right across the corridor. Okay. Then, and only then, get back to me. And we'll begin the ritual. We're sorry, Seth the Frog. Oh, I see there's... I need to find all the materials and start... Oh, no. Karen, clean your stove. Um, lighter. From... St and then storage is upstairs. I assume. I should first get the toilet ghost. Karen, if you had listened to me... Oh, all right. Um, where's storage? I assumed it was that room upstairs that I... No, it's not. It's a room downstairs. All right, that's fine. Chalk! Candles? That was some... That's a lot of rat poison. Why do you have so much rat poison? Ultra white. What is that? Cock? I don't know. I don't know. Is there anything else I need in here? Maybe that was it. I, I, I thought I needed... Shh, why do you have so much of that? Jesus. Is that paint or what? Do I not need any? I, I, I guess I don't need any. Oh. Oh, there's still one more. There's still one more. I didn't find one. Go upstairs. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I missed one yesterday. Oh, no. Talk with Seth first. That's it. Now yeah. draw the sacred pentagram and place the candles on the edges of the Forsaken Star. The Lord demands it! The Lord is coming! Hey! Yes! Yes! Now the time has come! Your soul will be ours! Yeah, to go to heaven! The Salvation Project... It is finally completed! The Hollow Star has awakened, and you were its originator! Perish, you naive witch, and succumb to the will of our Dark Lord! Hi, Satan! It wasn't me- Oh, no! Oh, hi! Good morning! I'm coming. Hello? I 
Why is it in? I did a bad. I did a very bad. The end. I feel like, I feel like I probably messed up. I, I found three, oh, it closed. I think that, yeah, I was supposed to probably find four pieces of a picture, but that said, I will link this game down in the description below like always, and you know, give it a try yourself. That was good. Maybe if you find all four pieces, you'll get the gooder ending. I don't always like going through completing every ending when I play these games just to give other people incentive to try it out. It's free. You can grab it down below. It was real cool. It wasn't super long. And it was very well made. Like, apparently this game was made in 48 hours. I did see that. I, I mean, I saw Evil Kermit, and that was why I picked it up. But that was really, really good. So, developer, very nice. And for the rest of you, I'm proud of you. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Have a good night. Bye! Oh, and remember, if, if you don't care, they will. <laughs>